Today, we are going to talk about the brain tumors. My name is Dr. Cameron Agaev. I'm a neurosurgeon. I practice in Istanbul, Turkey. In this section, we are going to talk about the types of brain tumors. Okay. So, there are two major types or group of brain tumors. We call them primary brain tumors and metastatic brain tumors. So metastatic brain tumors are the most frequent type of the brain tumors. By the definition, they mean that these tumors are actually not coming from the brain itself. They are metastases or the spread of the tumor into the brain. So for example, lung tumor that is spreading or metastasizing into the brain or tumor from other area like breast cancer or any other tumor that is going to the brain is called metastatic brain tumors. Usually metastasis happens through the blood circulation and by the time when the diagnosis is made the patient has already had stage 4 disease which means the um, removed metastasis. Uh, in contrast to them, the primary brain tumors, they arise from the brain itself or from the structures that support the brain, like brain covers. Okay, so the most uh, common types of the tumor, for examples of the tumor is like glioma or uh, for example glioblastoma multiforme which is a malignant tumor that arising inside the brain from brain cells, from brain supporting cells. Or meningioma, which is a benign tumor that's arising from the covers of the brain and pushing the brain from outside, yet it is in the cranial cavity. So briefly about the types or groups of the tumor, we have primary brain tumors happening primarily starting in the brain or in the skull and metastasis, the tumors that are coming from the other places. In this session we are going to talk about the symptoms of brain tumors. So, so far the most frequent symptom is headache. The vast majority of patients presenting with headaches. There might be various reasons for the uh, headache, but mostly it's because of so-called mass effect. So the tumor which is growing in the brain or in the skull, if you're willing, uh, puts additional volume there. And it's uh, and because the skull is a closed space, its volume is uh, finite, is limited, so once there is something growing in, that should be compensated by other structures that are inside the skull, like brain, like cerebrospinal fluid or blood that is in the brain, in the circulation. So once the tumor reaches particular size, this compensation cannot hold anymore and the pressure inside the uh, skull, inside the uh, cranium as we speak increases and the patient presents with headache. In addition to headache the patients may have various neurological symptoms. Sometimes the tumor may cause irritation of brain and cause epilepsy, cause seizures. Sometimes it may cause a neurological deficit, so compromise particular brain function like speech, like motion on one side, like sensation on one side, vision, hearing, balance, virtually all brain functions can be compromised because of the tumor and the, the patients usually become aware of this uh, within some period of time and that's why they go to doctors and eventually have the brain scans and the diagnosis of the brain tumor. Unfortunately for the majority of the tumors to become symptomatic, to produce some symptoms, they have to grow to a particular size. 
we currently don't have testings or screenings for the brain tumors and for that reason the tumors are diagnosed um, most cases when they are presenting symptoms which means that, hey, that they have to reach particular size before they become symptomatic. In this session, we are going to talk about the treatment of the tumors. So, treatment of the tumor depends on the type of the tumor, the location of the tumor, and the, uh, the degree of the disease. Okay? So, for the primary brain tumors, for the tumors that happening inside the brain, in the vast majority of cases, the first course of action is to remove the tumor. First of all, we never cannot tell what kind of tumor is it before we actually take a piece of that tumor and analyze it with a pathological examination. Only then we can tell what kind of tumor is this. So for the tumors that growing inside the skull and they have no pathological diagnosis, so that the surgery the obtaining a biopsy, which is a part of the surgery, is crucial for the management. Obviously, by removing the tumor, we take off the pressure effect from the brain. And in some cases, in cases where there is a benign tumor, resection or removal of the tumor completely will be sufficient not to do anything else in the future but that's mostly for the benign tumors that have been resected or removed completely for the tumors that are malignant uh, like malignant gliomas or malignant tumors they uh, the, after the removal the usual treatment consists of adjuvant therapy like giving the radiation to the surgical field and in addition to that giving the chemotherapy to the, the patient that will kill, that would stop the cancer cells to grow and spread to other parts of the brain. Uh, for metastatic brain tumors, the treatment usually is individual. So that means, depends on the size, number of metastases, and the patient's general condition. So if there is a, a single metastasis and the patient condition is, is good, and um, they, there are no other metastases in the body, these tumors can be removed. This type of the disease called oligometastatic disease, oligo means a few, so if we few, have a few tumors, not too many, not like uh, tens or hundreds of metastases in the brain, but just a few metastases, we can go and remove the bigger metastasis from the brain, uh, depending on the patient condition. Um, obviously, we would not do it for the tumors that are very sensible to other treatments, like lymphoma, which is very sensible to radiation and chemotherapy, for small cell lung cancer that is very sensible to radiation therapy. For those type specific tumors, we usually prefer doing uh, radiation and adjuvant therapy. But for the tumors like um, breast cancer uh, going in the brain, especially if breast cancer is tolerant to chemotherapy, then the usual course of action, if it's just a few metastases, one or two metastases, to remove as much as possible. In the vast majority of cases, after metastasis tumor removal, we give the radiation either to the surgical field or the whole brain to prevent the future growth of the tumor. Thank you very much for watching this video regarding the brain tumors. Uh, you can always find more information on our website.